So what we're looking at here is a 1979 International Transtar 4300. I am negotiating purchasing this truck. We've got a verbal agreement right now and I thought I had a plan lined up to get it home, but it doesn't run and most of the tires are all flat and I was going to put on a detached trailer to get it home, but after measuring it, it ain't going to make it home. On the trailer, it won't fit. It's got a 214 inch wheelbase. See all the weeds are growing up here. So under the hood, it should have a 290 Cummins. I'm not real sure if it's a big cam or a small cam. I'd open the hood all the way, but I don't want to lay that grill on the trunk of this car and screw it all up. So it's got a 10 speed, which I thought is a little unusual. I mean, it's not an Eagle and it's got the little engine in it, so I suppose it don't need a 13. But, uh, Yep, 4370 International. Pretty sure it's a aluminum cab. You can tell it's got some cues to where I think this used to be somebody's pride and joy, like this shifter boot cover there. It doesn't have all the gauges like a big eagle would have. Eagle would probably have a bunch of gauges over here. It's just got a couple rusted out. The air brakes look like they were replaced at one time. Looks like it leaks a little water. But you know, the headliner looks decent and there's even still a little ashtray on the door there, which you usually don't see them in there too much. Got the Bentz sleeper in the back, flat top. Not much there. Looks like it might have a leak there. You can kind of see why. I mean, these cab lights, pretty well junk. The center ones don't even match. I kind of wonder if they got green lights in them in the center there. Uh, a couple of the uh, fuel tank straps are broke. There's a dent in the side, which is unfortunate. So I really like the original tanks. You know, they got this real neat, whatever you want to call that in them. Looks like it used to be owned by Payne out of Peru, Indiana. There's the broken strap there and the dent. I'm told they parked this thing because it was getting cool in the oil. Whether that's an oil cooler or a head gasket or cracked liner, I don't know. But I mean, you can see they had aluminum buds all the way around the outside. Had fenders on there, you know. Someone gave a crap about this truck at one time. Just one stack. Definitely gonna have to get dual stacks on it. And like a big cam three, 400. Be nice to get a 13 speed. Air ride cut off, that'd be all right. So. Hopefully when we get her out of here, I can get another video or something. Get it running. <laughs>